how to use vtiger crm hello and welcome to our channel on this video i'm going to show you how you can use vtiger crm so please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial and to create an account on vtiger you can also use my affiliate link below the description where i earn a small commission at no additional cost to you and by using the link you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up but before that, if you don't know VTiger CRM, it is a comprehensive customer relationship management platform that offers a wide range of features to help businesses manage their sales, marketing, and customer support operations. And some of the key features of VTiger CRM include contact management, sales force automation, marketing automation, customer support, mobile accessibility, collaboration tools, and advanced analytics and reporting. And now, to start using this platform, we can also click this button on the top panel which says 15 days free trial or alternatively you can also enter your email address and click get started with vtiger button right here but before that if you also want to know the pricing plan that offer by vtiger you can also click the pricing option on the top panel in which upon clicking on it you will be able to be directed on this page and from here if you scroll down it will show you some of the plan it offers including for one growth one professional one enterprise and one ai and below here it will show you the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan right here and now that we know the pricing plan that offer by VTiger, we can now proceed by clicking this button on the top right corner that says 15 days free trial or alternatively you could also log in if you already have an account on VTiger. Then from here, you could simply enter your work email or alternatively you can sign up using your Google, Microsoft, Apple, and even using your Twitter account. Then you will be able to be directed on this page and all you need to do is to simply fill out your company name. So let's say I'm going to enter here sample company. Then below, just check all of these boxes right here that indicate that you agree to the terms and condition of this platform. And after that, just click the continue button below here to proceed. Then from here, just fill out all of the required information by selecting your answer to some of this question including how many people in your organization will use the CRM. And also select the capabilities for which you are considering a CRM. Then just enter your phone number, then click the next button below here to proceed. And after that, you will be able to be directed on this page in which from here to get started, you could simply add contact, access the quick guide to contact, and many more. And as you can see under these contacts, you can simply add a contact by clicking this add contact button right here. In which by clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window. And all you need to do from here is to simply fill out all of the required information, including first name, last name, email address, phone number, organization name, and even assign to and choose the life cycle stage and even the status of it. Then proceed by clicking the save button below here to proceed. Now going back on this page right here, aside from manually adding a contact, you could also import a contacts by simply clicking this top down arrow button right here and click import contacts button. In which upon clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window that you can simply fill out all of the required information and even drag and drop your file here, such as for CSP file or VCP file. Now going back in here, aside from that, you could also navigate some other icons in here and option such as the settings icon right here. By simply clicking on it, it will show you a lot of customization options that you can start navigating including customized contact fields and layout, contacts workflows, contacts processes, quick list values, and many more. And also you can even sync some of your account by clicking the sync button right here in which you can simply sign in your Google and even your Office 365 account in here including also Gmail, Office 365, QuickBooks, and other application on this VTiger CRM. And aside from that, you could also click this button right here if you also want to know how to get started or set up your account on this VTiger platform. So for instance, we're going to add firstly a contact by simply clicking this add contact button right here. It will show you a pop-up window and after that, just fill out all of the required information including first name, last name, and many more. Then again, just click the save button in order to save the contact. And as you can see after saving the contact, it will show you right here some of the summary of your contact including its activity, details, touch points, event, task, updates, products, documents, and many more. So you can basically view all of the details in here. And aside from this of your contacts, you could also navigate some other options by simply clicking this button right here. It will show you other lists including my idle contacts and even the list of your leads. Now going back on this page right here, you could also navigate or customize some other things by clicking this icon right here. Let's say we're going to customize the setup web forms. By clicking on it, we will be able to be directed on this page. And from here, just fill out the web form information including the web form name, return URL, assigned to, status, description, and many more. And also in the left side panel, you could also navigate 
user management, module management, automation, and any other options in here. And from here, if you also want to get home to navigate some other option by clicking on it, you will be able to see here and navigate user management for automation, marketing and sales, inventory, my preferences, support, configuration, and many more. Then from here, it will show you other data including the number of users, number of workflows, and many more. Now going back on this page right here, now going back on this page right here to start creating a document, you can simply click the plus button on the top panel right here. By simply clicking on it, it will show you other options that you can start creating including essential such as contact document, e-sign document, and many more. So let's say we're going to create a document by clicking this document button right here. It will show you that you can start creating new document, new folder, upload, or link a document in here, and even upload multiple files on this page. And aside from document, you could also navigate here or create a task by simply clicking this task button right here, which this purpose is to ensure that your team is focused on the most important activities and that very task contributes to the overall success of the organization. So from here, just fill out all of the required information to create or add a task, including the name, assign a task to, estimate the time, and even choose the stage type, priority type, and even the task type. Now moving on, aside from task, you could also create here a deal under the sales by simply clicking on deal. And by clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window, then fill out all of the required information including the deal name, amount, organization name, expected close date, pipeline, sales stage, assigned to, lead source, and many more. In which you can ensure that all stakeholders involved in the deal are aligned with the goals and objectives of the transactions. And aside from deal, you could also create here a campaign by clicking on it, in which this is designed to achieve a specific goal, particularly in marketing. By clicking on it, campaigns can be used to promote a business or product through various marketing channels such as email, trade shows, or public relations. And by filling out all of the required information right here, including the campaign name, expected close date, assigned to, and any other details, you can simply create a campaign in here. And also aside from those options, or document that you can create, we also have here Casio, internal ticket, service contract, project milestone, project. So for instance, we're going to create a project milestone by clicking on it. All you need to do is to fill out this project milestone name, related to, and even assign this specific project milestone and enter the milestone date in here, which it serves as important markers that help plan, execute, monitor, and communicate the progress and success of a project. Now going back on this page right here, aside from project milestone, you could also create here some other documents including for asset, price book, product, service, and even under order fulfillment such as invoice, payment, purchase order, sales order, and vendor. But below here, you could also create an SMS template by simply clicking on it. Then it will show you in this pop-up window all of the information that you need to fill out to create an SMS template, in which the importance of these templates is to streamline and standardize the process of sending text messages to contacts and also to customers. So overall, that is just basically how you can use vTiger CRM. Thank you.